Dear colleagues, I'm grateful for the invitation to discuss the Secretary General's roadmap for digital cooperation as you begin your strategic planning. Your discussions come at a critical time. Managing rapid technological change is one of the defining challenges of our generation. Digital technologies have the immense power to accelerate progress towards the global development agenda. Yet, we've also seen in a very real way that digital technologies can exacerbate many of our world's greatest challenges, undermine human rights and fuel conflict. The digital divide risks becoming the new face of global inequality. Colleagues, if we are to better manage the path forward in the digital age, we must provide global steerage for digital technologies. That is why the Secretary General convoked in 2018 a high-level panel for digital cooperation, which brought together a diverse group of luminaries and experts and was followed by extensive multi-stakeholder consultation process on their recommendations. The panel, co-chaired by Melinda Gates and Jack Maher of Alibaba, highlighted the need for the world to come to terms with digital technology, to address their profound benefits, but also the threat they can pose to sustainable development, human rights, peace and security. The challenges of the 21st century require common understanding, a shared vision of the future, and most importantly, joint action. In follow-up to the high-level panel report, the Secretary General published his roadmap for digital cooperation, a first-of-its-kind report that was released in June this year. In reflecting on the concrete steps articulated in the roadmap, I see three common areas between EFAP's mandate and the Secretary General's digital cooperation priorities. The first is information ethics. The roadmap is clear that we must work together to ensure that the right to privacy and other human rights are protected in the digital age. This is essential for building trust and security across information systems. Second, information accessibility. Digital inclusion for all, but especially for the most vulnerable, is a core pillar of the Secretary General's roadmap. By addressing multilingualism online and the needs of people living with disabilities, we can better ensure no one is left behind. Thirdly, the roadmap makes an important call to step up and better coordinate digital capacity building efforts around the world. Our global digital transformation hinges upon advancing information for development and information literacy, as detailed in EFAP's mandate. More broadly, I'll mention the roadmap's five other areas, which are also critical to effective global digital cooperation. The primary objective of the roadmap is achieving universal, affordable access to all by 2030. A second area of focus is promoting digital public goods. A third is providing global vision and leadership on the development and use of artificial intelligence. A fourth is promoting digital trust and security to advance the sustainable development goals. And finally, building a more effective global governance architecture for digital cooperation. The roadmap can be summed up as a call to connect those who are not yet connected, respect human rights and agency online, and protect those vulnerable to online harms and threats. Without digital cooperation, what could be the source of boosting development and furthering the human dignity of all could leave many less secure, less safe and more excluded. This is where I hope we as the UN system
can continue our long-standing tradition of being a forum for global steerage when the world needs it most. This tradition began with the UN's first resolution in 1946 to address challenges raised by the discovery of atomic energy. But of course approaches from half a century ago will not work today. We need more decentralized, innovative and flexible approaches to address the challenges of our era. And given the pace of change, no one government, company or UN agency can tackle these issues alone. We need multi-stakeholder deliberations and approaches. As we build back better from a pandemic that has ravaged our world, I hope you will all join us in the effort to advance digital cooperation at every opportunity that presents itself. Our collective well-being depends on digital technology being the cornerstone of a more just, more cooperative and ultimately a more peaceful world. Thank you.